All right, San Diego State football at the brand new Snapdragon Stadium, 39 days away. Fall camp about to begin. San Diego State's offensive coordinator, Jeff Heklinski, back with us here on the home of the Aztecs. John and Jim, extra 1360. Coach, it's always great to have you. First of all, how was the offseason and how much are you looking forward to this next month gearing up for the start of the year? Well, first off, John and Jim, thank you for having me on. Always a pleasure to get to talk to you guys. And, uh, you know, obviously we've had a great off season, uh, a great summer, I would say, uh, highly competitive and intense uh, compared to a lot of the other places and a lot of the other summers that I've been a part of. Really impressed with how we're working and, and, and how we're coming together as a team. Coach, let's get right into it. Your quarterback situation, Braxton Burmeister, what have you seen from him since he's arrived on campus? Competitiveness, uh, leader, and somebody who wants – to be that guy and and that's really the most impressive thing about Braxton is you know he he is extremely confident in his abilities and he wants the ball in his hands and 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 he'll tell you it and and I think our offense is really starting to feed off that competitiveness and how he plays and it's exciting to go watch him uh, play out there and compete San Diego State's offensive coordinator Jeff Heklinski with us right now on John and Jim. So a new quarterback under center. You got some returnees in your running back room. You also have a newcomer in Keenan Kristen. What are your expectations for that group as a whole? Because obviously your running backs have been so important to this offense for a number of years. They they have been, and I think I think one of the things we're looking for is versatility out of them. And and you started to see it a little bit with Jordan Bird a year ago, and and how we can put them in different positions. And I think Keenan. Uh, Chance Bell, Jordan Bird, you got young guys like Cam and, and Jalen Armstead in there that are competing every day. And so we got we got a lot of depth and we got a lot of skill and talent that we have the ability to play in multiple positions and, and utilize all over the field. What do you hope to what do you hope this offense's identity will be for this season? Well, I think I think you started to see it the last half of last season and, and really, you know, how we played in the bowl game against Boise State, uh, you know, at times throughout the games at UNLV and, and Hawaii where, you know, we're multiple, we're balanced, and we're being able to attack the defense in multiple ways with a quarterback that, that can be, you know, extremely dangerous both uh, with his arm and with his feet and then, you know, being able to utilize everybody uh, at any time to score a touchdown. Jeff Eklinski, San Diego State's offensive coordinator with us. Again, the Aztecs get underway September 3rd. It's really not far away, 39 days at the brand-new Snapdragon Stadium. Coaches, you know, Jesse Matthews has had a great career in an Aztec uniform. He had that huge second half for you, just huge moments over the course of the entire year. How do you hope to continue to grow his game and utilize him in 2022? Well, you know, we put together the numbers of Jesse's last four games. And, and over the last four games of last season, he was third in the country in receptions. Mm. He was seventh in yards per catch. And he was tied for first with touchdowns. Wow. With oh. seven. And, and his total of nine are the most since Vince Brown in 2010. Hmm. And, and oh. so we got to continue that production. And, and, you know, that falls on my shoulders to be able to put him in those positions to be able to utilize his skill set. And then it falls on the quarterback and him to be on the same page and make the plays when, when, when the ball's in the air. And so we're excited. You know, you add him and, and the production he had, and you look at the production that Terrell Shavers had coming into the back half of last year, too. And, and then you add T.J. Sullivan, who's had a very nice spring and summer for us. You've got three really proven wide receivers with some developing guys like Breon Penny, who had a great spring game, Makai Shaw, Darius De La Reyes, and, and, and a bunch of the other young guys that are coming along in that room. You might have just answered this, but I was going to ask you, like, is there a player or players that, that we're not talking about that you're excited to, 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 for Aztecs fans to see on this offense coming up this season? Well, obviously from the skill spot, you know, Breon Penny is somebody that, uh, you know, ha has, has really developed over the last couple of years. And, and uh, you know, I think it's time for him now, and I think he's ready both from a, a maturity standpoint and a, and a mental standpoint to go out there and produce at a high level. Uh, you know, in the running back room, we kind of already talked about it. I think from the tight end aspect, you know, Mark Redman is somebody who's had a great spring, and, and we expect big things in, in filling Dan Bellinger's shoes and, and somebody who's developing into that type of player. And, and, and somebody like uh, Jay Rudolph and Gus McGee being, you know, the two and three tight ends in, in their production. 
And then, and then in the offensive line, we obviously have a lot of development to go with a lot of our young players, but they are very talented. Yeah, when you talk about the offensive line, again, Jeff Eklinski with us right now, John and Jim, extra 1360. What does it take for a young offensive line to become cohesive? Is it time? How, did, how does it all occur? Because there's no preseason, obviously, in college football. Right, and I, and I, think, it's, I think it's a big part of who we are as a team. Uh, you know, a year ago, I, I thought we really came together as a team very quickly through fall camp and, and early into the season. And, uh, you know, I really thought the adversity we faced at New Mexico State in the first half really made us come together. And, and from the second half on, we really played as a unit and as a team. And I, and I think that's the same thing with the offensive line. I, I, I think time, I think reps, and I think they got to take it upon themselves to really learn each other, work together, and, and, and force it to come together. And they've had a great summer doing this. And Olama Ulave is, is just, I mean, from a leadership standpoint, he is the guy that you want to build your offensive line around. And we're fortunate that we have him back for one more year. Heading into camp, Coach, what would be your biggest concern right now? Uh, you know, I, I think bringing it all together. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, I, I really believe that through the amount of reps of, of 30 or so practices that we're going to have heading into to Arizona, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get the reps that we need and the time that we need working together. But I think it's just bringing it all together. And I think it's, you know, the, the, the pressure that you want as an offensive coordinator is having all the tools and, and the weapons around to be able to put the ball into their hands and let them play. And, and I'm looking forward to bringing it all together that way with our staff and, and, and watching them bring our unit together to be ready to go against Arizona and opening up a Snapdragon Stadium in the 100th year of Aztec football. What is Snapdragon Stadium going to mean to this program? Because you're out over the course of the year recruiting and bringing in future Aztecs. What is this stadium going to mean for the evolution of your program? Well, you know, I mean, I, the obvious answer is it's it's our home, mm-hmm. and it's the first time that 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 the Aztecs have had their own stadium they call their own. But but I think I think under underneath everything is the continued the, the development of a national program and 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 putting us on the national map and i got to give a lot of credit to obviously first and foremost jd wicker our athletic director but also brady hoke and and all of our administrative staff from the time that i've been here and, and you look at all the national media and everything they've done you look at the uh, national championship game last year with the usa today and all that uh you know the goal is to make this into a national program and and we're well on the way and our stadium is another piece to that puzzle a huge piece to that puzzle do you kind of get goosebumps just thinking about it i mean i know you've been in there i think with the team before i know your concentration is on getting your team ready but is it going to be kind of it's got to be unique to open up a brand new stadium as a coach right I got to be honest with you. I have not been there yet. Oh, our wow. Been there and, and, our, and our staff has been there every time that we have the opportunity to go. Mm-hmm. One of, you know, I got, I got two sons. I got a, I got a senior that plays our, at Rancho Bernardo that mm-hmm. plays baseball. And then I got a sophomore that's a football player and, and a track guy. And so every time that we have the opportunity to go, one of my sons have, has had a game that uh, coach has been fortunate. I, I'm fortunate to work for a man that, that cares that, he wants us to go to see our son's games and be a part of our family life. And, and so my first time I'll see it is going to be, I think, August 20th mm-hmm. when our uh, first scrimmage is at Snapdragon. Well, don't be so jealous. I'm, exci- or... I'm excited for that. Let me tell you, I'm oh. excited for that. <laughs> Everyone's excited for that. I can't wait. And just don't be jealous, Coach, because, you know, we're going tomorrow to see this to the stadium. Yes. So <laughs> Our know, whole we'll, station we'll, is getting the tour from J.D. tomorrow. We'll let you know how it is, okay? Well, hey, you guys, you guys take some pictures, put them out there at me on Twitter so I can take a look. I'm excited to see it. And, and, and listen, I mean, it is just a great venue for our entire community and all of San Diego to bring this whole thing together because we are San Diego's football team. Aztec football is San Diego's football team, and, and we need to continue to build that. Well said, Coach. Great to catch up. We're looking forward to fall camp and, of course, the opener on September 3rd, and we appreciate you doing it. We'll do it many more times over the course of this season. So thank you, as always, for your time. Well, like I said, I thank you for having me on. Can't thank you guys enough for what you do for Aztec football. Hope you guys' families are all doing well and look forward to seeing you guys on September 3rd.